annotate images before you share them with your students and make learning more interesting. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. The tool we're looking at today is called ThingLink and ThingLink will allow you to annotate and add links onto images, video and even 360 video. Find the URL in the description below thinglink.com and you will see that under thinglink.com there is even an edu education page. Now there is a free and premium version of this website so let's go ahead and have a quick look at these education pricing plans. Now the free version allows you to do the image editor which is in my opinion already very very powerful. Now the Teacher Pro allows you to do image and video annotations which can be something that you are interested in and the premium allows you to do 360 video as well as have that classroom management. Now we are looking at the free image editor. So go ahead and click on sign up and I'm going to use my Google account to sign up. So let's go ahead and sign in and allow permissions. There we go, it is now asking me to complete my registration by simply filling out a couple of little details. Now I am a teacher, so I'm going to select that. Done. And we are now on the startup page. Now we're going to start using ThingLink. And here we can now either explore our previously created media, explore some other people's projects and I would highly recommend that you go through this because there are some very interesting projects that have been created by others and we can also start our own projects. Now for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to click on create and we're going to simply do a very basic image annotation. So I'm going to upload an image. Now as you can see you can also upload video and upload 360 or virtual reality images. Now this is for the premium version. So go ahead and upload an image. Now I'm going to find an image that was created by some of my students. Now let's say that I will select, let's say this Christmas tree that was drawn by some very young students in year one. Now this is now uploading to the website ThingLink. And again, this could be any image that you've previously created. Now once your image has been uploaded to the ThingLink servers, you can start adding tags. Now I'm going to link these different decorations to various websites. So I click on the first decoration and I want to link this to my very own website. So we're going to link this to eduflip.net. Now this is going to be the first link and I can now select either custom small image text or a large image to prompt users whenever they hover over that first link. Now I just want it to be text and I'm going to say visit my website. So whenever now users or visitors hover over this image they will be prompted to visit my website eduflip.net and there we go. We can keep adding more links. So let's add another link down here. There we go, I'm going to link this as well. And this one I'm going to link to my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and link this to youtube.com flipped classroom tutorials. Now instead of text, I'm going to show a small image. Now I can just go and select a small image. There we go, and it picks it right from the website. I'm going to save all these styling options. And I now have a thing link image with two links, one text link up here and a image link down below, which has pulled in the description of my YouTube channel as well. Now you can create as many links as you want and you can add them however you feel. This will complement the content that you're trying to convey to your students or audience. Now I'm going to save this image. Now this is a very large image file so you can see as I scroll down, oh I have my first link right here which is my text link. I can scroll all the way down here and I have a more information. Now if I want to share this with people I can click on the share icon. I can also go in and edit and if you are a premium user then you can clone this. You can post it to a channel or when you look under more options you have statistics and you can replace the image. Now all this is premium. Now let's have a look at the full screen version of this image. 
I can click on that, I go to the website, I can click on that, I go to the channel. Let's test this. When I click on this, I go straight to my YouTube channel. And there we go. Now let's go back to ThingLink. I'm going to share this. Now we are going to share this as a embedded. Now that means I can simply copy this code. And with the new functionality in Google Sites, I can now paste this as an embed code onto my Google Sites. You can also share the link with your students or you can share it via social media. This is ThingLink. Now I know I've used this a lot in class to share extra information or to push those higher ability learners a little bit further by allowing them to explore more information by themselves. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Give the video a thumbs up, share it everywhere you can. And of course, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. This was my video and I will see you in the next one.